Stupaflix is a fairly new video making service that works on Chromebooks and works online. And it does a pretty good job putting together videos really quickly, whether you have video clips or pictures, and adds music and cool little motions, and really makes the process of making videos quite pleasant. I'm going to click make a free video here at stupaflix.com, and then they have a bunch of themes. Some are pro, so they do have a pro account that you can sign up for, but they do have a lot of regular accounts. So you just find one that works with what you want to do, and click make a video. So bring you to the Stupaflix editor. When you click on the plus to add photos or videos, you can add photos or videos from a bunch of online services, or you can upload them from your computer, or if you have a link to a website, you can do them there too. So I'm going to upload some. I just have a couple of screenshots here, images, so I'm going to grab those. Click open. And then I'm going to upload them and put them in my video. So you can do certain things with these clips. If you click on the down arrow, you can duplicate them. You can add a text overlay, audio overlay, or a custom transition. Otherwise, it creates its own. More than likely, you'd want a text overlay. So you just click on it, type in whatever you want to type in, and done. And that'll be a part of your video when it comes. You can edit or delete that. You also have the option to name your video. And you also can add a soundtrack. So with adding a soundtrack, there's a bunch of audio built in. Or if you have a song, you can upload that. So I'm going to just go from their audio library and find something that I like. Well, let's go electronic. Awesome. I like it. I'm going to click add the timeline. So it's going to license it, take a little bit of time, and it will add it automatically to my video. And it automatically goes to the length of my video, so even if the song is longer, it will end when my video ends. And then I could also edit or delete that song here. So I can edit the volume a little bit. I can also add more music and I can loop it if I need to. That's kind of a cool thing. All right, so now that we're wrapping up, we're going to go ahead and click on the quick preview button and take a look. Sometimes it glitches out and doesn't show, so I just refresh the page if that happens. And there's my text overlay. It tiles out, goes to my next picture. And it automatically times the transitions. Note, for the video here, for your pictures, if you click on this and click edit, you can choose whether or not you want to do your own zoom and pan or if you want it automatic. And then you can also choose your own duration. So in here, it just automatically made a duration. Uh, each one was on there for approximately seven seconds. But if you choose custom duration, you can change the amount of time in there. And you can only do it one picture at a time, so do keep that in mind for changing the duration. You do have some project settings in here, and you adapt the pace of the video to match the music, which is kind of cool. You can change the pace. So you can make them all faster if you want to. You can change the theme here. And then when you're done, you can click Produce and Save. When you do that, you will get a few different options with it. If you don't have a pro account, your only option is to make a free video. You can do as many as you want, but you can't download it. And the definition isn't that great. But I'm going to show you a way around that. So when it produces the video, it's going to take its time. When it's done, we're going to have a few different options for viewing this. One of the things that we can do is actually publish our video to YouTube. So here you go, here's your video. You can embed it in a website, and then like I said, here's some options for uploading it. Facebook, Vimeo, or YouTube. So I'm going to click on YouTube. I'm going to connect to YouTube. And if you're logged into your Google account, it'll either ask you to log in or you can choose your account. 
and then we can publish. And that's going to go to your YouTube account. It now is published. We can go to it on YouTube. And since this is our video on our YouTube page, we should be able to go into Video Manager. And in our Video Manager, we have the option to download MP4. So we can have an actual video file of this. We can put that in Google Drive. Or if you're fine with it, you can share it right here on YouTube. If you want to watch it, you just click on it. It should load this time around. And there's our video. So the process of making a video on Sleeperflix is pretty straightforward and quick. And it's a good video tool for you to try out.